In this lesson, we'll be looking at Norton's theory, which forms part of Module 1, Principles of Electricity. Now, let's first take a look at the uh, theory for Norton before we look at an exam type calculation. For Norton's theory, we can replace an electric circuit with Norton's equivalent circuit. Norton's theorem states that a network of voltage sources and resistors is equivalent to a single current source in parallel with a resistor. So just to show you this diagram over here, we have a single current source replacing the voltage sources, and we have a single resistor known as Norton's resistance, and that can replace all the resistors in the circuit, and that will be in parallel to a load resistor. So IN is Norton's current in amperes, IL is the current through the load resistor in amperes, and Norton's equivalent resistance in ohms is known as RN, and then we have our load resistance in ohms. Right, so let's take a look at an exam type question using a Norton's theorem. A generator of 100 volts and a battery of 75 volts with internal resistances of 0,4 ohms and 0,3 ohms respectively are connected in parallel to supply a load of 35 ohms. Calculate the voltage drop across the 35 ohm resistor for a total of 9 marks. Now if you are asked to draw the fully labeled circuit diagram, you need to draw the electrical circuit diagram as you read it in the exam question. So as you can see we have a generator of 100 volts with an internal resistance of 0,4 ohms. That is connected in parallel to a battery of 75 volts and an internal resistance of 0,3 ohms. And these are connected in parallel to a load resistor of 35 ohms. Now to do our calculations according to Norton's theorem, we can use Norton's equivalent circuit just for us to help understand the circuit. So we have a single current source known as Norton's current. We have a single resistor, which is known as Norton's resistance, and this is connected in parallel to the load resistance. Right, so the first step is to find uh, Norton's current. And what we do is we use the voltage, the internal resistance, to solve for Norton's current. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we do is we say I1 is equal to E1 over the internal resistance uh, R1. Then we have uh, I2 is equal to the second EMF divided by the second internal resistance. So the first EMF is 100 volts, the internal resistance of 0,4 ohms, and that gives us uh, 250 amps. Okay, the second EMF is 75 volts, divided by 0,3 ohms, and that gives us 250 amps. So therefore, uh, Norton's current, IN, for a single current source, it'll be uh, 250 amps plus 250 amps, and that will give us uh, 500 amps. Okay, not too bad to calculate that. Now the next step is we need to cal calculate Norton's resistance. So essentially what we do is we short circuit the load resistor in order to do this calculation. So we short circuit this load resistor. And then um, to calculate Norton's resistance, Rn, it is the same as the short circuit resistance. And essentially what we use here is the current divider rule. And uh, so what we do is we calculate our resistance in parallel using the uh, product sum rule. So it's R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. So we're going to have 0,4 multiplied by 0,3 over 0,4 plus 0,3. And that gives us a resistance of uh, 0,171 ohms. And that gives us Norton's resistance. Now, in the next step, we need to calculate um, the load current. And to calculate IL, once again, we're going to use the current divider rule here. So it's going to be uh, RN 
over Rn plus Rl multiplied by uh, Norton's current. So we substitute everything in here. We have uh, 0, 0,171 over 0, 0,171 plus the load resistor of 35 ohms. And we multiply by Norton's current, which is 500 amps. And if you use your calculator, I'm just going to jump straight to the answer. So we get 2,431 amps. Okay, for the final step, uh, now we're actually answering the question. To calculate the volt drop across the load resistor, it'll be the current through the load resistor multiplied by the resistance of the load resistor. Uh, we've just calculated the load current. It is 2,431 multiplied by the load resistor, which is uh, 35 ohms. And therefore, the volt drop across the load will be 85,085 volts. Right, so you can see that we've answered this uh, calculation. We've calculated the volt drop across the 35 ohm resistor for 9 marks. And I've shown you all the steps. Thanks very much for watching this video.